What is going on guys? Today I'm just going to show you a couple examples of what the panner node can do and then I'm going to quickly show you how to set it up. Only very basic, we're just going to be panning a singular texture across the surface. But these are just some examples of what you can do with the panner node. For example, we've got some lava here. Now that's got like a couple pans over each other of the rocks coming down on a singular pan. We've got a chevron panning to one side. And on my earth, we've got it panning in one direction with the surface and another direction with our clouds. So how do you set up the basic panner node? Let's grab the material you're looking to actually pan across the surface. We'll just use this lava. And after dragging it on top of a surface, you'll have created a material. So let's just jump into there. So right now, if we look at the surface, it's not panning at all, right? It's just stationary. To pan it across the surface, all you've got to do is hold P and left click to get a panner node. If you forget the shortcut, just write panner and left click it. Drag that in to your texture. And then all you have to do is write in a value and it will start panning. So depending on where you want to go, so let's go right to left. If you want it to do the reverse, just put a minus at the start. Or if you want it to go up and down, Let's change these values. Or if you want it to go diagonal in some sort of way, you can add both of them together and it'll go diagonal. And that is the basics of how to set up a panel node. If you have more textures and you've got like a normal map and stuff, so for example, let's grab a normal map and a, we'll just use this as our roughness, for example. You can attach that to here, attach that to here, plug them in. Click apply and you will have going across that surface. And that is just a basic setup of how you use a panda node. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time.